everybody, this is Silverox and welcome back to my tutorial on making the Mass Effect M98 Widow Rifle. Last time I made the basic shape of the body, which you can see here, today we're going to be finishing. Hopefully the basic shape, maybe the stock. Going on from what we had last time, the two front pieces are done. Now we need to work on the next three ones. This one, all this one is, is the ejection for the ammo. So let's work on that one. Making sure that the mirror is not, not applied. Now let's apply it for now. Yeah. Apply that mirror so we can work on only one side. Something I really like to use is the polymer modifier. So let's use that again. So let's add a new kill here. Shrink it down to the right size. Expand it in the Y axis. Let me start the display keys. Seeing this from the front, this should be fine. Let's hide that one. So to work on this one now, we need to make the rounded part size for the ejection, so let's add the cylinder, F6 to bring up the menu, let it view, let's put 10, let's make everything like this, this should be fine, Ex press S to expand to Change the sizes in the y axis. So let's add that volume modifier in the scene that we just had, in the difference. Now we can delete this one. We are left with this shape. Alt H to unhide everything. Hide that one, we don't need that one. And do the same thing again. Now with a cube here, we just add it and apply that. We are left with this indent, perfect. Unhide everything. Since we have this one, let's bring this to the back so we can work on the fins back here. This should be fine, I believe. Object mirror this in the, I believe it's the y axis. Nope, the x axis, sorry. That's fine. That's pretty much it. Select both these and press Ctrl J to make them only one. There we go. Now let's do the same thing with before with the poly modifier, with the cube we have just selected and the difference. And there we go. That from it, that's it. This piece is done. Now we need to work on this one. You can see it here, but this part is actually a raised section. This is going to be a different part. This this is pretty much just that we did for that one. With a simple oops. With a simple cube. That's pretty much it right there. There we go. That's fine. Let's bring that to the other side. I want to replicate it on both sides this time. I should have kept the mirror to do this, but it doesn't really matter right now. That's pretty much the same process as the other ones. And we are left with this. 
this is the basic body done with the one we will add the bevel on the mirror and do the same thing with the modifier for it now I'll be making you know what let's make the barrel and the, the grip make the grip let's put a cursor at the center make sure that everything is fine and add plain cube bring it to the right place there we go and from here just more let's pretty much just uh, build the shape of the, the grip actually that's let me redo this because that's there's an edge up here that's going to merge with the back so let's leave it at that expand this forward bring this back maybe just the front one back no let's make both of them do the make a difference bring this down This is pretty much just building the shape of the body of the grip with me of course taking some liberties by the way to make the, the cut like this I will always press Ctrl R and it lets, lets you do it There we go, that's the basic shape for the grip. Now let's make sure that we cut the NF for now. I'm not going to add a bit of modifier to it, but I will resize it in the x-axis. So it's much smaller like this. I believe it's there we go, that's not fine. I was trying to do something else, now it doesn't matter. So let's select this edge over, over here. And make it so it has a, Oh, by the way, I now will add the mirror modifier because I don't want to have to do that on both sides. Mirror this. And do the clipping on. That's fine. Just going to add another cut right here. So I can work with this. There we go. I'm just saving the progress. Make sure to always save the progress. You don't want to be working in halfway to every single shit. This is gonna give I don't know, that flat. The other thing we need to do now is from the same mesh as this one, I'm going to add this top part, this front part. So I'm going to put the cosset at the center, center again and add the cube. Since I had the cube while in edit mode, it's added to this one as you can see. That's this is an easy one to do, just pretty much do this. There we go. Yeah, I forgot that it added the the mirror to it, so it created a double. So let me make sure. Yeah, there are the doubles right now. This is fine. Later on, the gas tube is going to attach to this part. Make sure there is a cut right there. Now the basic thing that's missing it is a trigger guard. 
Let's once again let's just go let's duplicate this edge to make this easier. Extrude it so it covers up the entire place. Pull this back. This is pretty much just following the dis the curve of the trigger guard. That should be it. Try to get this as close as possible to here. Fix the normals, that's usually a problem that happens. While holding control select one of the vertices and click on another, and it tries to make a straight line towards it. Try to fix this as well. Yeah, that's fine. Repeat the process over here. Point it inwards. This is pretty much just fixing it. This is not a problem. There is a separation, separation in the actual model itself right there. So I don't mind this. Pull this down just slightly. Let go so it fits in this one. And I'm going to fix this as well because I don't like it. There we go. Now let's add the backstock and the upper part. And that's pretty much how I will leave it. I will actually add the backstock and the other part in a separate, in a separate mesh. And you know what? Since I am here, because it's the center, create a cylinder. Always assume that's 10. Uh, 15 should be fine. Let me see this. Yeah, 15 is fine. Rotate it. And make sure that this is the same size as the barrel. There we go. Now we size it in. The Y axis only, so it covers up the entire thing. Maybe I'll pull, pull this thing all the way down to here. I'll leave it. No, no, no. I am going to. This should be fine right here. That forward, we are left with this. You know what? I am actually not going to do what I plan to do to put the barrel inside the gun. I am actually going to cut it right there. So, add the bony modifier to this with the original view, which is this shape right there. Difference. Wait, am I actually picking the right one? Oh, it's messing, messing with that one, so you know I don't want this. Did I name this one? This is the circle. So yeah, let's change the circle on that. Difference. I'll delete that little piece later. Play it. There we go. Oops. And there we go. The barrel is in place. So let's add the bottom one now. This time I'm going to make this smaller. It should be enough. Rotate it 90. Scale it down. Pull it. Was it? Yes, that's a perfect size for this. Pull this back. I'm not going to pull it fully back because it's the species that I'm not touching. I will leave the marking on any side. I don't want that. This goes forward like this. And do the same thing again. 
now I can see if we grab the bottom part, extrude it all the way over here. Why did the top part disappear? Whoops. Let's pull this slightly forward so it's not touching. There we go. Let's pull pull this slightly up so it's overlapping with the resistance mesh. I'll pull this down later, but for now that's what I want. There we go. Now it should work. There we go, apply it. That's perfect. Now I extrude this so it touches this part. Now this is going to cut right there with the same modifier. Want to cube this time, there you go. Apply it. Pull this back down. Control out, select the bottom one and pull. Now just pull this slightly forward so it's not touching. Remember there's a gap here, so this gap you know, I have to fit there as well. There we go. The barrel is done, so now for the last part of this video I will be making this. This is pretty much two cylinders attached with, the, with each other. So that's easy. Push it to the center. Add a seal. Oops. I was actually in edit mode, I don't want to do it on the top side. I want this to be here. And I want to add a new one. And that one. You have to be 15 like the top barrel, rotate it by 90 degrees, and it goes over there. That's fine. Just next to this BDS. Y axis, that's fine as well. Yeah, that should be perfect. Actually, no, it's not what I want. Let's make it bigger so they are both touching. Scale it in the Y and X again. I've just joined both of them in one, I like to change my mind. I'm gonna scale both of these, press Y and then 0 to make a perfect, a perfectly straight line. Press Y0. And now, from the front view, I'm actually going to delete these vertices. Press B, so box select this, and F to fill that face. Same thing again. We are left with this. Let's hide everything. Control Shift H to hide everything but what we are working at the moment. We to select these four vertices, press F to fill this. Select these two and keep pressing F till everything is filled. That and do the same thing in the front. Make sure always keep saving so you don't lose your progress. And here I'm going to select this, extrude it so that it fits right there. S scale it on the Z axis, zero to flatten it. Let me pull this slightly like this. Fix that, put it 
Yes, pawns. Yes, it's going to just one piece. And two more cuts right there. Round this bit off. Making sure that it's still aligned. There we go. Now I'm going to add one right up here, down the middle. Like this one is easy, right? Delete that, delete that. Fix this. And add a little modifier to it. This one we can just apply it because we are not going to touch this piece again. And the texture and the text is modern. Hold H to bring back everything. Select this thing, the barrel, and add the volume modifier to it with our new scene here. Apply it. That pretty much just cuts off the pieces so it that's two different pieces right now, as you can see here. That's what I'm going to use. And that's pretty much it for today. That's pretty much pretty cool. We made the grip, the bottom so bottom grip bottom grip for the hand, the bottom barrel and the gas chamber and the bipod support. Make sure everything is always safe. As always, if you like this, make sure to go to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash where you can download the current version of this project. Remember, this is for patrons only. If you like support me in other ways, then consider subscribing to my channel, commenting, and leaving a like. Thank you for watching.